Welcome back to Talking Serpents. I know why you clicked on this video. You want to see a reptile mansion. It is going to be so incredible. And I haven't built it yet, but I know it's going to be incredible. And <laughs> so this big stack of wood right here, that's going to be pretty much all used. This is going to be eight feet wide, four feet deep, and six feet tall. And it's all going to be for a white throat monitor. Did I say it was going to be epic? Because it's going to be epic. All right, let's get to work. All right, let's do this. Time for a progress update. So right now this is only half of the enclosure. The rest of the panels are sitting over there. And oh my God, this thing is so big. I gotta figure out how to uh, pick this thing up and flip it on the front so I can put the back panels on. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a struggle by myself, but I'm gonna get it done. The back is on and it is big. Time to get this thing up in the air. Like I said, this is only half of it. Good thing it's not very heavy. So this is half of it, so it can fit through doors and stuff, and then there's going to be a front half. Oh my god, how cool is this? Damn. Getting a little progress update in, and it's time to cut some wood, and it's getting a little sketchy in here, because it's a, just a, you know, a little bit full in the garage, but you know, we're gonna make do. Just installed the whole front trim assembly. Everything is massive. So now it is time to marry the front to the back and we'll see how large this reptile enclosure really is. All right, right now I'm single handed. So I gotta do this all by myself. <clears throat> Wish me luck. Good thing it's all made out of birch wood so it's not really heavy. Oh wow. I can always picture it in my head, but man, when you see it all together, that's pretty incredible. Wow. Alright, let's take a step inside for the first time. Well, we'll go outside a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so cool. So it looks like the garage floor is a little bit uh Unlevel, but I'll also be putting um, strips along all the seams to cover that up. And then, uh, yeah, it's got an 18 inch lower substrate barrier. This is massive! Wow! <laughs> How cool! Oh, it's that time again. Time for another progress update. Just a few things have been done. All right, so like I said before, I was gonna put a trim molding in to uh, take the seams and bring them together, bind them, so you got the back half and the front half. So I made seams that go on the right and left walls, top as well as bottom. I routed all the edges so they're nice and smooth. Looks pretty good, I might add. And then of course I got this structure right here. It's all framed. This is for the basking spot, and then this is the ramp that goes down, there's gonna be slats on it, so it's now time to make the top structure. And, well, you know, complete it. I get, get back to work, Kyle. All right. Here's another progress update. Got rounded corners, it's really smooth. Nice, tight fit. And then this one's got a little slot for the little center seam that goes in the back wall. Looking good. So now I've got one, two, three, four slats are gonna go up this ramp that way. This monitor is not trying to go up and do the Scooby-Doo. Yeah, that'd be funny, but um, I don't think the, the monitor would like that. So we're gonna add some slats on there. So they're being built right now. And as soon as they're ready, add them. Round all the corners out so it feels good, it looks good. Mm -hmm. 
much better. All right, let's take a look. Got the slats in here, went one inch high. That way this monitor can creep up here safely. And uh, just gotta sand everything down, interior and exterior, full sanding. Yep, here, yep it's, that's a lot to sand. But uh, then I can go ahead and put the interior and exterior coating, so it's gonna get a full interior sealant and full exterior stain. Stay out of my way, damn broom. <laughs> After loads of sanding, this thing is all smooth, ready to go. So I've already started cutting in all the edges with the white waterproof seal I'm gonna be using on the interior. I've taken apart the structure because there's a lot of crevices and I've already uh, coated these pieces. And now I can go in there with my airless paint sprayer and just light the whole thing up white. So that should be fun. Hopefully it's fun, hopefully it's not too messy. We'll find out. All right, so it is the next day. Working on a couple enclosures. Of course we're working on this one. Oh my God, there was so much work to be done to get this thing all sealed with the white interior sealant. Got all the nooks and crannies done. Boom! And then got these taken out and done separately so they uh, get done properly. Oh my God, so much work. It's hard to even say. Now, time to make this black. So this is gonna get a black ebony stain and it'll show off all this beautiful wood grain structure. And then we'll seal it with some polyurethane, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, just, a, just a little bit of work, just a little bit. All right, time to get to work, Kyle. Get to work. Also, I wanted to announce something that is extremely special to me. I hired my first employee. Um, oh, it's right there. <laughs> so my wife was able to quit her job, <sighs> and now I can build reptile enclosures even faster because I'll have my wife helping me. Uh, she's already been helping me in the past a lot. Like if she was working 40 hours a week, she's probably working 40 hours at home. So now I have even more help at home and things will get even better. So once again, I wanna thank everybody uh, who supports me. I really appreciate you. Definitely making dreams come true. All right, so now me and my new employee <laughs> are gonna make this enclosure black. Boom! The exterior finish is all done. Like I said, this is a black ebony stain, so it shows off all the beautiful wood grain structure. So I conditioned the wood, I stained the wood, and then I sealed the wood. And yeah, you better believe it. It was just, you know, like five minutes worth of work, right, Stephanie? Oh yeah. Yeah, like five or five hours, ten hours. Yeah, I don't I don't really know. I think it was like five minutes. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Now, it's time to put all the air vent covers on. So we got four spots for large air vents. So let's get these things on. Three, two, one. And all the white vents are on. Looking good. Oh, looks like I also got some electrical done. So I got one, two, three, four heat bulb kits going on this one. Looks like I need to make some more bulb guards. That way no reptiles get burned in this mansion. All right, now got the ramp structure and then the top deck of the ramp. Replace that on there and uh, yeah, let's get that done. All right. I'd say we're looking pretty good. Everything is all white and finished. Woo! That's exciting. The pieces of the puzzle are coming together. So at this point, just need to put on my window track. Glass should be coming in in a couple of days. And then put the bulb guard material on and this thing is it's ready to go. 
Time for another progress update. Got one, two, three, four heat bulb kits already installed, ready to go. If you ever need a heat bulb kit, they are on my website, talkingserpents.com, of course. Oh, also got window track on. Wait, do we have glass? We do. Oh, let's uh, let's get installed. And if you've ever wondered how I put glass in for any of my reptile enclosure kits, you put the glass in the top or the uh, the top window track, and then you swing it over, and then you're in. And same thing to take it out. Pull up, swing out, pull down, you're out. Simple, simple. All right, love that. Oh yeah, everything is working so good, looking so good. You know what this means? It means I'm pretty much done. Like, what, what's left? You can install the uh, the locks, but these are gonna get transported, so I'm gonna leave that to the customer. Got the locks over there. And of course, you're gonna use 100% silicone on the inside. So this means, it means it's done. What? It, yeah, it didn't take that long either to build it. It's probably like, you know, just a couple hours, but. Yep, you got it done in a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Also, if you are interested in a reptile enclosure kit, I have DIY and custom reptile enclosures on my website, TalkingSerpents.com. There will be a link down in the description. I have many different sizes and variations of colors. I even sell snake hooks, so if you're in interested in any of that, check the link in the description, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Figured there was no better way to close out this video than just to be in here because it's just, it's so big, it's, it's so amazing. So it's definitely a pleasure building it, lots of great memories and just really excited I got to be a part of it. So anyways, that's the end of the video. If you liked the video, strike that like button. If you have any comments, post in the comment section below and please do subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.